Yes. When your religion tells you that you must do your salah, your work, your prayers, your zakat, your gift to charity, your Ramadan, your fasting, your hajj, your pilgrimage to Mecca, and your shahada. That's what your Quran tells you you must do. But let me ask you something. At the end of the day, when you fail to do what you should have done, at the end of your life, you can turn around to Allah and say, Oh Allah, I failed. And you can say, but Allah, you're merciful. And so at the end of the day, what is the point of all your washings, of all of your fastings, of all of your charitable gifts? What is the point of them? Nothing. It's works religion. And it is not by works of righteousness that we have done this, but by his mercy he saved us. And if your God, at the end of your life, can just wave a wand and say, you're forgiven, merciful, then your God is an unrighteous God. He's an unrighteous God. If he can wave a wand and say, you're forgiven, I'm merciful, then he's an unrighteous God because he can accept you on the basis of your works, which are unrighteous. Your works, all our works are unrighteous. None of us can offer to God a perfect righteousness. And if you believe in a perfectly holy God, then you know that this perfectly holy God must have a perfect righteousness. What can you bring less than that? Will God accept it of your hands? Of course not. Where do you find a perfect righteousness? In Jesus Christ. Praise hallelujah. Praise yes. Praise the Lord. No, man, you're not saying it right, man. You must say hallelujah, man. You must say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God, do not it? Praise the Lord. So, so, hallelujah, so man. where do we find a perfect righteousness? Through Jesus. In the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He alone is our righteousness. Yes. And this is the argument. People who don't know anything about the glory of Christ, they argue whether he's a prophet, whether he's the son of God. I he declare was, to you, was a I prophet. don't argue with you. He was a prophet, man. He's but I Lord declare to you, a prophet like myself. he's the son of God. And he was a king. He's the son of God. No, man. I he declare to you, Jesus Christ is the son of God. And me too. In the gospel of John, Chapter 9, God. he healed a man blind and my sister from is a daughter birth. Of God. And that man of was Elohim. blind from his birth. And Jesus Christ healed him. And when they found the man, they said to him, What do you think of the man? What do you think of Jesus? And they said, He's a prophet. He's a prophet. And then Jesus found him a little bit later on. And he said, Do you believe on the Son of God? He said, who is he, Lord, that I should believe on him? And he said, it's he that is speaking with you. And you've both seen him, and he's talking with you now. And he said, Lord, I believe. And he worshipped him. Is man to receive worship? No. But the God man, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, received worship. He received worship.